and crew what's up what's good it's your girl jazz i'm back when i'll be on the channel yes ma'am yes sir if you are new to this channel and you are clicking on this video i really appreciate you clicking on this video whether it's you know big j or whether it's you here for me to see how i do whatever the case may be i just appreciate you clicking on this video i hope you subscribe and join the channel so you can have some fun with us we are known as beast and crew man and i'm very very excited um so we got something different on the channel today it's a comedian big j never heard of him <laughs> i'm assuming it's a he um but never heard of him so i'm interested hopefully it's a good laugh and a good time hope you all will enjoy this video don't forget to like comment subscribe talk to me in those comment sections because that's what i love the most that being said let's get it i'd like to foster love but that just looks uncomfortable i don't know dude try to make a move you know her right she's your buddy that sucks not buddy what Yeah, I don't know. How old are you, sweetie? 18. 18. That's you're dumb. <laughs> mm. So they together. She 18. Mm. Like, what do you mean this guy's your friend? This guy's creepily hanging out, waiting for you to make a 19-year-old dumb decision. Not 19. You think he's your friend? You believe that in your heart of hearts? That he's your friend? Yes. So if you were like, hey, we should totally fuck, he'd be like, no way, bud. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nah, because, first of all, comedy shows, that's why you got to be, you got to pick your seat seats wisely, unless you ready to get called out and air your business out. Because what? I know she's turning red right now. A bro skiff? <laughs> I don't even look at it like that. Home slice? <laughs> Not home slice. He'd say yes. <laughs> yeah, but he's like, that's, is that what a friend, that? honestly? If he would fuck? <laughs> yeah, you have no male friends. Exactly right. You said it. Do you all, so now the guy, the guy low key is like, hold on, let me, let me peep her answers to see, like, you know, maybe I get a little slide in or like, mm, maybe not. Like, nah, you know. Um, but do you all think, Male and female can be friends. The opposite sex can be friends. I think so. It's we, you just really have to have boundaries and communication. Very, very, very much so. Now, if you're in a relationship and you want to be friends with the opposite sex or whatever case may be, then I think you and your partner need to communicate and really trust each other, you know? And um, you really have to be a loyal person because that has to be a friend that you know that you know for a fact like oh no like you know somebody some people really do have that friends was like ill like no i would never have you know i would never do anything with him um but uh yeah it's all about boundaries but let's go i have young girls argue that all the time a lot of guy girl roommates in this city not fucking just living together as friend roommates that's insanity to me <laughs> that is asinine to live with a girl you're not fucking fellas if you do that and i mean this harsh sentence here but hear me out Fellas, if you live with a girl you're not fucking, you have no respect for women. <laughs> what? Wow. No respect for. You don't know what you're capable of. Men, we're garbage. And you gotta know what you're capable of. Listen, when men have our when our balls are full, this is a hackneyed subject at this point, but it's just the facts of life. Talk, talk, talk. When our balls are full, mm -hmm. we are a different human being than when our balls are empty. Does that make sense at all? Fellas, is that true? I have a lot of fellas actually who watch, so I need y'all to comment. Is that true? Is, are y'all totally different when that happens, and why? So the girl you live with has to be a girl you're fucking, or else you're gonna, this weird stuff's gonna happen. When our balls get full, we're not the same person as when they're empty. When our balls are empty, that's when we're the person that our parents made. When my balls are empty is when I'm doing everything good in life. I pay my bills, I shoot hoops, I say hi to friends, I high five a lot of people. When your balls are full, that's why guys like jerk off so much. You just gotta like change that state of mind and get back into the world functioning empty balled again. But if that's true, why don't you have enough self-control to be like, all right, 
you know, at least to know like, okay, not with her or not right now. Why does it have to be you turn to a totally different person until you get some? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why I gotta be all that? And when our balls are full, we'll do fucked up shit and live with a girl who's just your friend. Like, you're gonna fuck that friendship up. I know you will. I would. If I had a girl roommate who I wasn't fucking, two seconds. I'd ruin that. First time she's like, hey, I'm going to my parents' house for the weekend. 20 minutes after she leaves, I'm gonna go smell all of her panties. Then. <laughs> what? Then I'm gonna rub her vibrators on my face while. I jerk off with a fist wrapped in her dirty underwear. Yeah. Nah, so, he's dead serious though. It shouldn't. It shouldn't get that serious. It. Sh it really shouldn't. It shouldn't be all that. It really, really shouldn't. Horrible. And don't even waste your time judging me on that. For a few reasons. One, I've never done that. I'm just telling you that's what I would do. And two, there's no reason to judge it because I would judge myself. Do you get it? That's the whole full balls, empty balls thing. The juxtaposition, right? As soon as I was done jerking off in her room, I'd be like, oh my God, what the fuck have I just done? <laughs> this is my friend's end table. What am I doing? I have my never buddy. seen him before. She trusted me and I ruined it. And I would clean up meticulous. And I would try to stack the dildos back the way I found them. Like, oh my god! I what does that say on his arm? I was trying to see what that says on his on his arm. But yeah, I have never seen or heard of Big J. Y'all definitely have to let me know who he is and stuff like that. <laughs> I would turn off the light switch with a tissue, and I would step out on my own footprints, and I would be appalled at myself. He Judging said what myself a for you. I'm like, how can you do that to your friend? She trusted you around her stuff and she's gone and you ruined it, man. You spoiled the sanctity of your friendship. Well, you know what? She's gone the rest of the weekend. No big deal. I cleaned up. It's over. Never again. Lesson learned. And 30 minutes later, I'll be right back in that room rubbing dildos on <laughs> Just shaking my head in the mirror like, do I know me or do I know me? And I'll clean up meticulous after that time and I'll leave the room again. And every time I'll leave that room believing that I'm never going back in that room again. I'll believe it when I say it, but I'll be jerking. That's creepy though. Like that's creepy. Like what? Cause what? Like bro, what? When our balls win, we are not to be trusted. We're not your friends. Friendship doesn't have that kind of sexual tension. Real friendship does not have that. My best friend's right. name is Dave. <laughs> if Dave called me at 2 a.m. and was like, dude, let me come by and suck your dick, I'd be like, I'm gonna have to say no, Dave. <laughs> because we're friends. <laughs> Why? Because his name's Dave. That friendship's real, man. That friendship means something to me. <laughs> That's real. I know it's real. Because if me and Dave weren't friends, I'd be like, yeah, dude, come over here. <laughs> I'm a liberal dude. He's a good enough looking guy with soft lips. I bet he sucks a mean dick. Not that. But then what happens? What happens then? Dave's sucking my dick. He probably gets a boner. I can't let my boy go home with a boner. Now I have to suck his dick. Now we're sucking each other's dicks and we're not even gay. We're not gay. Y'all not... think that happens? Y'all think that happens like more often than none? Like, do y'all really think that? I don't know. I've never been in a situation like that or known somebody who's been in a situation like that. I don't, I don't know. So hearing that, it's like, what? Do y'all, has that happened to y'all? Before we're like, dude, what are we doing, man? <laughs> Puh, what are we doing here? Let's stop wasting time and start plowing some ass. So I... I'm gonna have to let him fuck me first because I'm the fat chick in this story, so I'm gonna have to lay back. What? Nah, there, bro, music. hold on. Really. Get there. These long rhythmic pounds into my shitter. I thought I lost you for a second. But I'm bigger than. But it's the fact, like, bro, you, you thought about this. You thought about this. No cap. You thought about this. I'm surprised this is up here on YouTube, low key. And pull out, shoot a couple ropes of friendship across his butt cheeks, and then. <laughs> Not ropes. Tit sweat covered chest across his spiny and rib cagey back. 
I know, sounds like a great night. Sounds fantastic. But I can't cross that line because we're friends. Real friends, right? <laughs> I gotta think about tomorrow when I wanna hang out and play video games with my friend Dave. No, I'm serious though, y'all. Like, I feel like if you really got double think about that with your friends, then it's like, obviously, you have way more feelings than you're supposed to, you know? I feel like... But what I do, what I don't like is when people be like, oh, I don't want to mess up my friendship, so we shouldn't try it. Which could, which could happen. You can't mess up your friendship because then it's like, when you do have that soul tied, quote unquote, and you figure like, dang, it's not, they're not even like that. And it's going to be awkward to tell them, like, you're not like that because they thought it was like that, but it wasn't like that. And then it's like, but we're friends, so then it's not now, it's awkward, you know? Or it could go to the total opposite where it's like, wow. That was amazing. Like, let's do more. Like, and then we establish that boundary or it's just like either or, you know, it's like one of those. But to but I do feel like you can be friends with the opposite sex. But then again, you just really have a habit to a lot of communication, a lot of trust um, within that friendship and then also with the person that you're with. But that's a totally different thing. I feel like just let alone if you're not in a relationship and you have friends and you're friends with the opposite sex, it's still a lot of work because you got to understand, make sure y'all on the same page. You know, you don't want no, nobody reading the thing, reading the situation wrong, stuff like that. And then it makes it even harder when one of y'all is in a relationship and, you know, that's just a lot. But I can't even look him in the eye because I'm still picking his butt hairs out of my pee hole. <laughs> not worth it. Hey, look, you don't have to laugh at that. I'm happy you even sat through it, honestly. <laughs> that is a really tough one to get through. Yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys not walking out on that one. That is tough to hear, front to back. Not front to back. You know who really hates hearing that joke? My friend Dave. It's his least favorite of all my jokes. Man, that's very vivid. I'm like, right? <laughs> Just came to me too, dude. I didn't even write it down or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, sometimes I like when uh, comedians laugh at their own joke because they really think they'd be funny. That's be that's the funny part. But um, let me know what y'all think of Big J down below. I never heard of him. Let me know um, what's your thoughts of him when you first heard him. Your favorite um, stand up from him. Um, any other videos you like to see me do? Comment, comment, comment. Talk to me down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Notification bell. With that being said, see you guys next video.